sometimes I do what I call silly songs. Show you that I have range and that I can be silly, but also things that mean something to me turning into things that are a little sillier than they first appear because that's the best way to share them with other people who aren't here right now. So as I go home, this song came to me. As I sort of lost and found my way home. Even though you're farther than you think You're closer to home than you think Closer to home than you think Even though you're farther than you think You're closer to home than you think You're closer to home than you think Even though you're farther than you think You're closer to home than you think You're closer to home than you think even though you're farther than you think, you're closer to home than you think. You're closer to home than you think. You're closer to home, closer to home, closer to home than you think. Maybe the song isn't the best use of my time. Maybe the song isn't as good a use of my time as I once had thought. And don't I feel silly for singing the song? Don't I feel silly for singing the song? Thank you. Even though you're farther than you think, you're closer to home than you think. Closer to home, closer to home, closer to home than you think. That's my silly song. Because sometimes eh, I'm a silly bird. <laughs> wow, it's a bald eagle. This is a bald eagle like um, stronghold, basically. So and we've got like piles of stone. Eagle stronghold. It has become my stronghold. First day of the stronghold, and we are well strong. Old. I am strongholded to thee, bound by oaths and vows and shit, and seen with great judgment by the many hills and downs where I dwell, affording me, really trying to just been in the tone of just feeling the strength of my home and rebounding from things and growing and knowing that even if things have felt tight for a while, they can sort of start to, you know, you can be shocked enough that you, you deserve to take some time to feel confident again. I'm deciding that if I can't change everything, I can also change my own attitude. So. And like I said earlier in my videos, like things just have to be balanced out. And one of the things that have happened is my mom and I have just disconnected from people or things that are unbalanced. So it's like there's been very the energy of disconnection has been a helpful thing. It's been in the right sort of thing. Disconnecting from the right things, having the right attitude. I was watching the show. I like shows, and, but you saw this 11-11 thing, and then, um, and then they say the number 11, and then they talk about someone, career criminals, and that's fine. They're, they're, they're talking the way they need to talk. And, um, but also that, in some sense, it's kind of like their life force, and they mention the word life force. And you got 11-11, God, violence, and the life force. And what if they're, on some sense, like I don't blame governments, what if they're talking about, like, they're helping humans to purify any doubts we have about our own life force. You know, given all kinds of demands they know they've placed upon us. You know, you have to watch out for homicide or the more morbid things that I talk about being a part of your life force. We don't want, at the very least, we don't want our lives to be about things that they shouldn't be about. We want our life force to be pure. We want our people's life force to have the pure full expression and the fullness of like something that resonates with every culture and whatever peace this world is emerging into and can that brings forth with every good attitude and every patience that we all meet out to the world around us that would be nice and i say that from a position of strength and if i hadn't been given a lot of time and if i hadn't been subjected to a lot of certain types of industrial poisoning and at the very least i can say having relieved a great deal from my home at least I can at least try to have a better attitude. You know, 
I can have a little more of a philosophical attitude. got to be strong in any kind of world, psychic or physical, and you got to work well with other beings, but you can choose your own terms, for sure. You know, I may not work for myself, or I do, but I do choose my own terms every day. And that's what I've liked about being a writer, you know, choosing your own words is like choosing your own terms to live by. And I believe in the mind, I believe in my words more than even great thinkers I admire probably believe in what happens in our cortex and neocortex and everything else about words, language, and emotion. It's not afforded a great range of volition in man's overall uh, improvement of himself and his own. But I did find a stone that is just beautiful to me because it's like a great father and a mother in some kind of snowbound mountain holding their own home. And, and I thought it's a great answer to this whole doubt about the language of the life force and a life of crime. We talk about criminals having a life of crime. They're saying that this person has a life force of crime after showing and repeating the number and the word 11 and the sound of it. Squaring the circle and um, squaring off with the circle and the sound of all life. Again, not in itself like total awfulness and governments are trying to mislead us, but there's a sophistication in, in the persuasive impact on the mass mind that these sequences are very intelligent leisure to man, which also is, is, is like a political instrument, maybe an instrument of poison on the one hand, or maintaining poison, or regulating people, but also speaking a very persuasive language, physically, mentally sound and symbol, within a context that is allowed a very persuasive influence over the human mind, so television. So you see, like I said, when you penetrate into media and look at its more deep and doom-laden connotations, you, you should improve your appreciation for how sophisticated it is, either because humans are just unconsciously this artistic that all art has hidden and wonderful meaning inside of it, that's why we do it, to say these massive things to ourselves, even if it was just for money and controlling people during times of war, we end up, the truth will always come out. The truth will out, Shakespeare says. There's going to be some truth and beauty to this mass of man that we are trying to be uh, every day. And or these people are just that good, and if they're that good, they definitely have a higher calling. That the one thing between the different cultures, the super cultures and stuff that we all share, is something about serving a higher calling that can really bring our life together. People are never at their best in groups and families than, you know, than when they're serving something. And, but ideally, everyone would be safely. The idea of these, this Odin and Othila cradling their home, cradling each other, cradling themselves, cradling me, because being safe in yourself is being home in yourself. And when you're safe, you kind of are at home. And when you're at home, you're safe. And they're literally cradling their home in each other. Um, in their own nature. It's a beautiful stone. And that's that's a stone of life force. And this place is a stronghold stronghold I found of life force. I came here one day, I put a an otter branch of driftwood that represents the otter medicine that comes and goes. And this place that was kind of given to me and blessed by the eagles. And um, yeah, well I'm I think I'm just gonna head home but thank you for listening.